Yeah, something wrong. <laughs> grenades? I didn't think Jedi used grenades. Well, I don't like to use them unless they're C5 concussion spheres or the Mersan cryoband pellets. Sonic Screamers aren't too bad either, just don't use them on a Bith. Well, keep hoping, because that's not my specialty. Trust me, mass slaughter weapons just cause trouble. Interjection. Master, I must disagree. Merely the threat of mass slaughter- Would you please shut him down? It's been like that ever since he arrived. Here's how to kill this, here's how to kill that. Correction. Assassination theory and execution of said theories is my primary function. I also possess excellent hearing. Great. Well, all right. You've got a good point. But look, be careful with them. All it takes is one blaster bolt to your bandolier strap and suddenly you're Paragus. Get it? I've killed people before, but not if I don't have to. Oh, do I? Is that it? How you could ever possibly hope to understand is beyond me. Jedi don't have family. I know what happened at Malachor V, and I know the Jedi didn't care about life there. Get away from me. The next time you come and ask me a question, I swear I'll shoot you in the head and dump you out the airlock. What do you want now? Whatever, don't worry about it. It's just a sore subject with me. Yeah, well, they're dead. That's how that story ends. But not everybody's story has to end with losing their family or their loved ones. And not all the bounty hunting I do is for criminals or killers. There's a lot of lost people out there. Scattered ever since the Mandalorian Wars. And sometimes, it's like you can almost hear them. Like an echo, calling out for each other. And maybe, just maybe by finding them, I can start putting the galaxy back together. Maybe. We'll see. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. But you're not getting anything else out of me. Why are you here? Because I told her. Told her everything. Ah, and now you are free. Yeah, so no more threats, no more of your requests. You and me, we're done. Did you ever think I truly held you? You're more of a fool than I thought. What truly held you was you, and let me show you why. I once held the galaxy by the throat, as you once held her by the throat and let her die slowly. And your emotion at that point is what you fear. I wielded power like you cannot imagine. Everything I saw was awash with possibilities, spreading outwards, touching everything else. I saw all of that, all that the Force is. And only when it was ripped from me did I truly see it. And I know what lies buried within you. That you hide with your desperate thoughts, your guilt, your lusts. I can unlock that part of you any time I wish. It is a simple thing, the human mind. Once it feels something strongly, it becomes etched in the memory, the subconscious. Shall I show you? That part of you that hungered to kill Jedi, that took pleasure from it? Or perhaps you will continue to listen to my counsel and I shall ignore your pathetic attempts at freedom. Now leave me, murderer. I have nothing further to say to one such as you. Ah, you are here. You felt it, did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? 
to meet an enemy blade upon blade. Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the Weapon Masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchmen in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. It feels better to be back here, not cooped up on that ship. Well, Nar Shaddaa may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. I don't know. I, I haven't killed anyone for a long time. But when I'm around you, suddenly it's like I've always been doing it. It's like a reflex. I don't like it. And I don't know when or why it became so easy. All right, prove it. You can show me now if you want. All right, but I doubt you're going to show me anything I don't already know. And when you show me, don't act like a tourist. It attracts predators. What's wrong? Why are you stopping? No, I don't believe in the Force. It's Jedi tricks, sleight of hand. All right. It's not gonna hurt, is it? Feel the currents here on Nashada, the ebb of life. A simple kindness can be given to another. This is the Force, and all our choices, from the greatest to the smallest, affect each other, and the echoes travel. I can feel this... planet. I can't shut it out. It's louder now, it hurts. All these people. That's what I want. I'm sure of it more than anything. I want to become like you. I want to be strong. I don't want to be afraid or alone anymore. I, I, I want to keep running and looking and never feel like I'm finding what I'm looking for. I am tired of being hunted. When the galaxy takes something from me, I want the power to let go. And I want the power to heal the echo when it's gone. That sounds all right from where I'm standing. 